Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the Waking Flame DLC. This time with my lovely stamina warden. Like in my previous build I used Carve and as an extra dot. It's super powerful, it did over 10k DPS. It's by far the strongest dot on a stamina warden. Kinda said that a weapon ability is stronger than the class abilities. I don't have a clue why Zos is still constantly buffing weapon ability skills instead of class abilities. Just Zos things. No logic there. It's quite expensive though, so we have to watch out a bit on the sustain. That's why I used the bull match and consuming trap. But in raids you could probably drop bull match for a survivability skill like vigor, shuffle, elude, that kind of stuff. After one hour passing, I managed to get 112k plus DPS. Pretty, pretty high. So far, Stamina Warden, the strongest stamina class on a dummy. Keep in mind, I couldn't test it on, on a raid environment, of course not. These are only dummy passes, so it's not the same condition like in raids. Build-wise, I use the exact same setup like previous patch. Nothing has changed there. Let me explain the rotation first. Afterwards, I'll show you the pass and then the build showcase. Let's get started. Start to summon your Wild Guardian pet, then the Bull Nitch. Use Subtrain, step closer, use Deadly Cloak, then Barb Trap, Consuming Trap, and Swarm, Bar Swap, use your Ultimate, Recast Subtrain, then Carve once, Stampede, Carve twice in a row to gain all three stacks, then Wrecking Blow as spammable in between, and if one dot expires, go back to your back bar and reapply it again. Try to make sure that you keep up all three carve stacks. I usually use it every 8 to 9 seconds. Use your ultimate on cooldown if possible and use subtrain every 6th skill. Try to avoid bar swap with cast abilities like Wrecking Blow and Stampede. They're kinda clunky, it's not always possible. After a couple of tries, you get used to it even with cast abilities. If you have sustain issues, like me on a dummy, use Consuming Trap and the Bull Nitch even execute, but drop Throwing Swarm, Stampede and Wrecking Blow for Executioner at 31%. If you have questions about it, type it in the comment section below, I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Now enjoy the pass afterwards, I will discuss the build with you.
build still the same, like I said, 5 Reliquin, 1 Slime Core, 1 Harpooner's Wading Kilt, if you don't have access to mythic items in general, you should use 1 Slime Core and 1 Grundwolf. On the front bar, still best in slot, advancing Yukida with a Maul for extra penetration on a dummy. In raids, I recommend to use the Great Sword or the Great Axe. Double Dot Poisons. And on the back bar, the Black Rose Daggers, still super powerful. Traits, full Divines on the body, full Bloodthirsty on the jewelry, precise front bar. And double infused back bar. Glyphs, full max stamina on the body, full weapon damage, and a frost damage enchant, just thanks to this juicy passive. Where is it? Uh, this one, piercing cold, it gives 10% more frost damage. So it's slightly better than the flame damage enchant. The other dagger with a poison damage enchant. Skills on the front bar are Executioner, Subtrain, Wrecking Blow, Carve, Stampede, and White Guardian as ultimate. Back bar Growing Swarm, Daily Cloak, Barb Trap, Consuming Trap, and the Bull Nudge, and again White Guardian. We have to slot it on both bars. Race, Dunmore is best in slot. Khajiit is similar and Orc is fine too. As Mundo Stone, the Thief is a good rate. And the Lava Food Soup as Buff Food. 64 points in Stamina. And the same potions like always with Stamina, Major Brutality and Major Savagery. CPs, Blue Ones, Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, Backstabber and Fighting Finesse, Swap Backstabber if you can't flank the enemy for Taumaturge, Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Fortified, Boundless Vitality and Sustained by Suffering. That's the end of another PvE build, next one will be a Stamina Nightblade one. Stay tuned for that and for all Magicka builds. Thanks for watching and the support guys. Don't forget to sub my channel. I wish you all a fantastic summer and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!